Welcome back to Alpha Grappling Championships Dungeon Wars 2 series. I'm here with Kate. How are you feeling today? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. And um, what have you done in preparation for today? Um, loads of grappling, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Um, do you know much about your opponent? Um, not much. I have rolled with her once. Um, mm -hmm. About two years ago, just before lockdown. Okay. Um, and I know she's very strong. She's very technical. Yeah. Very like game competitor. So yeah. I'm very happy for this match because um, I'm always like looking to have matches that will challenge me. Yeah. And I think this is the one. So I'm yeah. very happy about it. Cool. And um, so you mentioned in the alpha blog, alpha blog, sorry, being all for promoting women's grappling and equality within the sport. And um, do you feel like you being here today is a step towards that? Well, definitely. Like, I'm really happy to be on the card, which is obviously a little bit male-dominated card. Yeah, but yeah. there is a slot for a female fight, and it's on the main card as well. Which yeah. you know, thanks for that. Um, and I think it's gonna open doors for a lot of other female grapplers, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Good, good. Um, is there like a tactic or a game plan that you have for today? Um, I just want to be as brutal as possible. Good idea. Good idea. Um, thank you so much for chatting to me. Good luck. Um, I've got Rich here to do the weigh-ins for our next fight. Thank you, Josie. Okay, we've got Kate. Kate, do you mind just standing here for a moment, please? And can you step onto the scales? We have 66.5 kilograms, 67 kilograms. Thank you very much, Kate. <laughs> just over here, please, Kate. Thank you very much. And Martina, please come over. Just stand here for a moment. And can you step on the scales for me, please? And we've got... 60, 63 kilograms. Thank you, Martina. Martina, if you mind, just Thank you. There you go, Josie. Thank you. Um, Kate, come on in. I've got some more questions for you. Um, so this match was supposed to happen on the last Dungeon War series. How does it feel to be here today? Uh, it feels great. It feels great. I'm happy we, we managed to reschedule this match mm -hmm. um, and still have the same opponent. In yeah. Class, so yeah. 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 Um, so obviously through the recent lockdowns, you have been keen to keep training and keep on your game. Um, how did it change for you in COVID? Um, it didn't. I just yeah. like kind of expanded my horizons, had to mm. look for different places, different training partners. Yeah. So that's it, to be honest. Yeah. My focus stayed the same. Cool. Um, and do you have any weaknesses? Um, sorry, do you see any weaknesses in your opponent that you would like to exploit? Um, I don't know Martina's game that well, um, so I'm, I'm gonna try to exploit them now as I'm learning about them. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for speaking to me. Good luck today. Thank you. Martina, come on in. I've got some questions for you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Um, do you know much about your opponent? Well, we sparred before once, um, but you know, it's been a long time. You know, she's had plenty of time over lockdown to change some things, so yeah. And I, I myself have address a lot of issues yeah. as well so yeah yeah we'll just see yeah how did you find um lockdown training so for me it was very good because uh not only was it was at a time where i could address my physical and yeah. you know every kind of lack in my skills but um also mentally you know yeah. it was very motivational for me yeah. um yeah setting out was very frustrating mm -hmm. especially because i actually decided to take a little break from competition right oh, before right. covid which was yeah. excellent timing yeah. so yeah i'm just very excited yeah. to be able to yeah uh, do you have a strategy for today yes but i'm not gonna no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well good luck thank you so much for speaking to me rich face on thank you kate do you mind just stepping through martina do you mind just stepping through we're gonna have a quick face off <laughs> slightly closer thank you very much <laughs> okay, so coming down first, we have Kate Bassett representing New Wave Academy. Kate, 27 year old, and has had uh, experience in both BJJ and MMA as well. She will be in the red corner today. Kate has become a familiar name on the scene, in, especially in sub only. She's competed on uh, shows by the Grapple Club as well as, well as um, fighting people like Brian Lee Tyrell and Nadine Tavares. So now coming down the stairs, we have Martina Zola. She's fighting out of 10th Planet London. 
Um, Martina was a silver medalist in the ADCC Nationals and in previous fights we've seen her pull out quite explosive uh, techniques even in the last minutes of her fight. So we might even see uh, some of those back takes that we have seen before. Both girls look focused, I'm ready to go. And Wally, we've had in previous uh, in previous conversations with Kate, where she's mentioned the fact that she loves she loves the scramble. Um, so we're we're probably going to see something that's uh, back and forth here. It definitely should be an exciting matchup. The referee just giving them the final instructions. And here we go. Ready? Ready? Let's fight. Let's go, man. Here we go. Martina looking for underhooks. As we expected straight away, the girls are both games for a wrestling match. Martina working for the single leg. Stand foot to the floor. Stand foot to the floor. Big double by Martina. Kate has got Kate has the give and take back. She's lost the arm over aspect. You have stack abilities gone now. Right now, Martina is in a strong side control position. She's looking to free her head. Very fast start from both girls. Kate's still holding on to her. Onto that head. Do you think that's the best thing there? She's let it go. So I think she did the right thing there and letting go. Right now, Martina's in top. Uh, she's still got the turtle. And it's now looking to take her back. Martina looks very strong and physical. Yeah, and she, she kind of moved around really well for those back takes and not letting uh, not letting the uh, turtle in my cage face it. Kate using the cage well now. Gets turned, she's looking for her own double leg now. And this is something we probably expected from Kate. The fact that she would be using her MMA experience, working into the fact that she can use the cage well. Martina's doing a good job defending with her underhook, and now Kate's back on the single leg. That single leg, being, that guillotine being a threat now. Can Martina get the elbow over now? Jonas Grace in the corner of Kate Bassett. She's now freed the head. Good job by Kate. Fairly evenly match at the moment, Wally. I'd say definitely. Um, I think points wise they're quite even because there's one takedown each at this point. Okay, potentially looking to uh, set up a core trap there. But Martina just locking up the half guard, working to that underhook. Back to her knee. Back to her feet, good job. Gets back on attacking the legs from the wall. She's looking for that single leg. She needs to drop down a little bit on that single leg. She's a little high, but she's come stepped over through the back. Come to back, come to back, come to back. Watch out for that triangle. Okay, it's attacking an armor blotter now. Martina's circling. And move it over. That's it. It's a nice leg, Martina. Use that knee. Stand up on the side. That's it. That's it. Kate's got to. Uh, Make sure she's still got the arm. If she loses that arm, she's going to have her guard pass. I think Kate's aware of that. I think if she loses the arm, she's going to be looking to strength away. You're right, indeed. She's just come up for the single, but Martina's on her back. She's got to be careful with the arm bar here. Now Kate's the one having to defend the normal blood turn. And Martina's got her hips down a bit more now. Good exchanges from both girls. Kate with the head pressure, keeping Martina in the corner. I think she's, she wants that cage to get the takedown, get the work for the single or the double. 
coming around for the single leg. Got Job running the pipe. That have definitely scored her point. Just going straight into a knee cut. I think we're potentially seeing a set up for a DOS here if uh, Martina continues to come up. She's now pulling the, looking to pull the head in. Good guillotine for the stopper from coming up. This is back and forth with the girls. They are really, really pushing the pace at each other. And then we've seen a, a number of, I think we've seen about three, four takedowns now, Wally. Yeah, definitely. And they're both attacking submission. So this has been a great match so far. And we're only one round in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They've still got a potentially another 14 plus minutes to go. Two minutes, 15 left on the counter now. Okay, with the Ryan bar, uh, Martinez postured up out of that. She's going straight into a knee slide and she's past Kate's guard. See if Martina can do anything with this uh, north-south position. She's worked back to side control now. That's it. That's it, just working up for trying to, I think she's trying to get back to that single leg, trying to get to that turtle, but Martina doing a good job of keeping her hips down and just following Kate round in that north south. She's going to be happy to sit here. You can tell this has been a high paced match. Yeah. First time they've both taken a break. It'd be interesting to see how how easily they recover after that minute rest if it gets to that if it gets to the end of the round. Less than a minute left now in this round. Martina using that too much control. Now she's got the foot on the hip. She's trying to get some purchase on that to bring the arm round. Potentially a reverse triangle here. Oh, definitely she sees it as well. I think it's going to be quite difficult with that angle there for Martina to make it tight. And she